So what we're going to talk in this part is uh, discussing the DMX monster that is the most cost-effective and most popular controller in our line and connected to a dimmer pack. A um, lot of people have questioned how this gets connected to dimmer pack, how our control is dimmer pack, as this is an intelligent controller, we'll discuss this option. Uh, what we have here is actually the face of the controller. We have over 12 fixtures. Each fixture is capable of controlling 16 channels, where you have the first eight, and then when you click the page, you go to the second eight, and that's how you get your 16 channel. So each channel actually has two channels built into it. Channel 1, channel 9 if in fixture 1, channel 2 and 10, 3 and 11, and so on. You have your speed, you have your fed, you have your blackout, you have your chassis, you have your banks control that is related to this display, your programming button, your MIDI and add for the add for the programming, auto and delete, delete for programming, uh, music, and basically your um, display uh, button over here. At the back of the controller, you have actually a drawing that shows you what exactly this relates to. So you have your 9 volts to 12 volts connection, that is this one over here. You have your DMX output, that is this one over here. You have your MIDI, that is this one over here. And then you have your power on and off. And in the middle here, relating to this one, you have the switch of the polarity. If the switch is on this side, as you see here indicated, it's actually the polarity relates to this part. If the switch is moved to the other side, the polarity relates to this part. So that's right now a quick rundown of the controller, and now we're going to connect this controller to a dimmer pack, and we'll see how we do that and how it works.